Hello, I'm in the shed gathering tools because, well not hammers, uh, but today is the day that we start the two-door conversion on the Subaru. Um, I painted the panels in the previous video, they are in the back of the Subaru, smothered in bubble wrap, I need to get them to Big Dave's house without uh, scratching up the paint, fingers crossed. Um, and then we're going to figure out a way to a solution with uh, fitting the panels. Shit's on fire! And then we're going to cut out loads of metal work to save weight. We'll find out later on the video how much weight we've actually saved. Actually, I'll edit that. Hi, it's Paul from the future. We just saved 63.2 kilograms. That's how much you can save. So we want to strip out as much weight as possible so that it's lighter for the diff. It'll be easier to skid. And also just because less weight is better. Right, I'm going to get my overalls on and I'm going to get to Big Dave's. That. Damn it! Ah well, in that case it's touch ups in the car so it doesn't matter what happens to now. Yeah. Well, well that's fine, that, that, well, you know what? That solves a lot of problems. And well, now we don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it, no. Yeah. So it's all fucking throws away. <laughs> maybe not throw. Ah. Yeah. So much blood. Yeah, so this one didn't survive either. Oh well. But, apart from our two new scratches, that is a respectable garden paint job. Bit of polish. In fact, it's probably the nicest painted panel on the car now. Right, plan is, Dave's gonna plasma cut the inside first, and then we'll take a look at the outside. Cut down the edge, save the boot lock, because someone else can use that, and keep just a little bit of the frame for rigidity. So that metal beam that went across would join this heavy duty shit between the two doors. Oh, never mind. Huh? Got, got what I wanted. That was more, well, you got what you wanted, just not, not when you thought, not when you expected it. Fucking hell. Look at that. Is it hot still? Wow. That is heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe four, maybe four kilos just in that. How's the door for flop? No, it's still rigid. Give it a waggle. Still rigid. That's nice. <laughs> Perfect. I'm ready for BEC. Let me just open my door. Oh. No. So sad. My door's not working. <laughs> no, it's because I'm. Someone might need that. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's weight. And sound deadening roof, look at that. Look at all that sound deadening, like a factory. Oh, oh what about factory my, sound deadening? What about my noise vibration? That's it. That, that's it. That is that's all the sound deadening that Subaru could be bothered in with. In the back doors, yeah. That's, that's it. Now, we need this off because we've got to chop the wheel arches. <laughs> Didn't tell you about that part. But these wheel arches have got to go. Yeah, I'm getting a pry bar. You ever seen anyone use a pry bar to remove a bumper, David? No, not recently. <laughs> I tasted that over here. <laughs> yeah, this hasn't been off since I crashed it. <laughs> okay. This is the last time I crashed it anyway. Well, that sounds much easier. Yeah, that's what it should be. It, on the other side, it's all crashed and yeah. folded steel. That's the problem. Look at this disgrace. Wimpy dog.
I don't think I've ever been that happy about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it off. Beat it like it owes you money. We have done about 8,000 test fits on the wide arch kit and we're going to dispose of most of this metal work around here. This is the panel that was damaged. This is what started this whole mischief, is this knackered panel. Um, so we're going to come along here. The arches have to be cut out inside this little white line. Which is going to um, be interesting. Then the two-door conversion kind of sleeves on top of that, but we've never done a rivet on over fender before, so this is a bit of a learning curve for us. So we're just going to chop away some stuff and see what how we get on. Because once this is off, we'll be able to get a better fit on the panel yeah. and decide what else we can cut away. Oh, that's on fire. Shit's on fire! It's on fire on the inside. That's Come on. <gasps> I got both. Thanks. I'm ready. Fine. Imagine. That was one of my, my very first jobs with my dad. I was putting the fires out as he welded car for uh, oh, Been there, that's yeah, where we all inside. started. He wasn't outside. Did you have a fairy liquid bottle or a squishy bottle? I had a squishy bottle. Oh, we were poor. We only had a fairy liquid <laughs> bottle. Sometimes I had two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really on fire, David. <laughs> I might not even have filmed it, I was kind of concentrating on the flames. Everyone's all wet now. There's a lot of paint on this, that seems to be the... Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry! I'm not glad I was aware of this. And the hose <laughs> snagged <laughs> and, and it pulled the handle against me. I, I promise it snagged, I didn't shoot you in the face on purpose. Right, anyway, your fire duties. Fire duties, I'm ready. It's full of fucking rubber, Dave. Okay, that's that's what's burning. That's what's. Need a <laughs> need a fire fire professional. reason to suspect that this has been crashed before, oh, that's David. That's pretty thick. There's a, look, there's like a mill or half a mill of Bondo or filler in there. That's what this was burning. Shit. I'm going to have to take the grinder and... Go old school and grind it. See where it comes back to. Oh, it's all the way. There's mill. Yeah. I wonder what that's all about. Well. That is thick ass filler. So what we've just learned is that someone else has already crashed this car before I crashed this car. However, their repair was a little bit less ambitious than ours. They've just gone for a ton of filler. <laughs> a ton of filler and lost paint. Well, they should have just wide bodied this and then saved us the bottle. Well, yeah, that explains why your plasma cutter wasn't plasma cuttery. Yeah, why it goes in fire. And why there's so much fire. Speaking of, right, I'm going to get my hose again. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. It should be much easier now. Check, uh, I'll give it a squish here just to be. Right. Just keep everything soaking. Down Remember, kids, drain your fuel tank and remove your fuel pump and take all your fuel out and. Yeah. Right, get a screwdriver and see if that uh, works. Go 
bit deeper than that one. This, uh, if any of our YouTube subscribers want this as a souvenir, we'll sign it, both of us. We'll sign it, which will make it worth less. In fact, we could maybe even run the run the bodywork hammer over the back of it, smooth it out a little bit, no, no, so it looks no, back it's, to me. It's, it's original. It's this isn't even our sticker. This is an SMT Motorsport sticker. Well, uh, take all the sharp edges off of those. This, this is for the trophy wall. That's a Patreon prize there. Yeah, whoever's first to take an interest on Patreon. <laughs> Right, add that to the pile. Sorry, dog. Scare the dog. Do you know the weirdest thing about this set so far, David? What's that? Just take out the object that's in my wheel jack. Ah! Yeah. Mine key banana! Some people carry a jack or a toolkit or something, and there's a banana in mine. Can't have been there that long either, because it's not particularly manky. And wet steel. <laughs> Should have cleaned it a little bit better, but. What's that? Oh, yeah, there's no way you need to. That's fucking solid. Yes, that back door is now going nowhere. But we are going to just chop a little bit more height off the wheel arch so that when the suspension compresses in this corner, we don't uh, start scrubbing the wheels. And also because we can. That will be behind it and no one will see it. That's a handy hole there. Now it's time to figure out the rivet nut gun thing tool, so we can put in some captive rivet nuts like that, and uh, then it's time for the white arch. A little bit of fettling required. That was easy. There's only one skin there. There you go, fucking two pins. Fucking two pins, drifter. Please don't fall off. Please don't make me out to be a liar. <laughs> but that's it, that is now on. These Clico pins. They're a good idea. They are a good idea. And then we Sorry. take these out and we rev nut. What we've got to do now is figure out where we're going to put all the rivets. Then we take the panel back off again, put rev nuts in, and then see if we can find machine screws. Because I forgot to bring them. She's <laughs> using some washers. And some washers. But that's it. It's uh, it's kind of it's kind of happening. All right. I'll just get my long hands to go. Shut up. So you made a funny face when I pulled them a click of pins at first. What do you think now? Oh no, I like it. I didn't understand them at first. That was, that was a funny face. I didn't... See, I watched the video beforehand. I didn't and understand and the someone said, if you're going to white boy anything, get white boy. White boy. If you're going to white boy, white, white boy. boy any car, That's a little bit of get yourself the click of pins. We drill, drill more holes and rev nut. Drill more holes, rev nut. Screw rev nut onto end of device. Put in all. Squeezy, squeezy. Unscrew the back. Voila. Voila! Captive nut for riveting on sweet drift panels. Yeah, it is riveted on the inside. It has squished them out into a rivet shape. You can probably tell because it's getting dark, we've been on this all fucking day. At least the second panel will be much faster for us to do. But this is it, it's going on, it's getting screwed on.
don't know if that's going in the river nut or if it's just going. You mean your own oh, it's, not, it's not pushing the panel out, so it must be the river nut. Your own holes. Tech screws were a consideration. It would have been fast. Is that? I mean, it's wide. It's taken a few impacts today, but it's doing well. Polycarb windows in. Might need to squish a bit more silicon down the down the gap there, but that can be a thing. <laughs> Put the trim back in. Can't build so tough. Uh, whatever, the, whatever the hell that went to. Looks legit. It's doing. It. Consider we did this in the driveway and it was painted in the shed. And it was raining. And it was raining, and it was covered in filler instead of steel. <laughs> Who crashed this car? Who was it? Before me. <laughs> Let me clarify. <laughs> Who crashed it before me? There you go. That is. We've got our eye in now. The next one will be much much faster. And we're going to switch this for some gold screws for ultimate bling, because these ones look shit. But that is, that's a respectable two-door Subaru right there. That's weird looking. <laughs> it is, it's very weird looking. It looks normal until you realise that like, there's no back door handle, and then you realise there's no gap, and it's all one. The like, wideness thing, like, I mean these wheels are already really fucking wide, so... That's not going to make much of a difference on the width. But that's still got to get spacered. Hey, at least my wheels won't scrub anymore! Mm -hmm. Nice, Dave. Oh, God's below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscribes and likes and for all the new people that have been commenting on the videos. Welcome aboard and welcome to the project. Um, next will be, we will edit up, well, we're going to finish the job first of fitting these wide arches. So we'll add a link once that video is done. Other than that, stay tuned and uh, we'll continue the work here. We'll, uh, I say we'll have, really have to continue the work because, well, there's still a hole cut in the car. We need to fix that. Onwards to... Two doorness. Thanks for watching. Bye.